that's what I, the information I gave to new members of council. I'd like an answer before I start talking today about what you're going to try to do to help us. Mr. Kedenbosky, there's no back and forth. Well, Mr. Mayor, you work for me, okay? Is that all counter? I'm sorry, Mr. 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 Kedenbosky. Name and address for the record, please. Hold on. This isn't my time. I'm asking Mr. Mr. George, Mr. Mrs. LaBelle, Mr. 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 Brown. Please. I want answers from when I was here this, last time. This is your time. Well, yeah, but I'm not, I don't want to start taking my five minutes. I want answers to what I said. You've got five minutes. Mike, he has several liberties, you know. Name and address for the record, please. Well, I want answers to my questions first. I'm not sitting down until I get the answers, then I'll go into my presentation. Ms. Mrs. LaBelle, are you going to help us Sir, with you've the information? Got Mr. Mr. George, Mr. Brown. You have to address council as a whole. You have to give right. your name and address for the record. And no comments from behind the rail. No oh, comments you. behind the rail. Oh, okay. Behind right. the rail. Now, I want to ask Mr. George, Mr. Bodell, Mr. Brown, what are you going to do about the, the information I gave you the last time? You have to address council as a body, sir. Why? You're in not, Bill Brace's pocket, and not, Bill, not Bill Barrett is room. nothing more than a puppet. You're becoming disruptive, sir. I'm not being disruptive. You I'm are trying being to get disruptive. Answers. Name and address for the record. Your time is running. I don't want my time running. I'm right. asking them for my time. All right, I'll give you my name and stuff, but then I want you to pause, and I want an answer from no, former sir. Chief of Police George, Mrs. Lavelle, and Mr. Brown. Kevin Bosco. Name and address for the record. Address council is a bio, not individual. You're a bunch of clowns. Bob Kalabosky, 41 Treasure Street. Taxpayer. People work for me. Now, before I start, I want you to put a pause on my time. Mr. George, Mrs. Mm -hmm. Lavelle, and Mr. Brown, I need an answer. Sir? This is about Iraq. Sir? This is in Afghanistan. This is the United States. You're supposed to talk to me. You address council as a, as a body. As a, whole. a whole. I did address you. And what did you do last year? You put an ordinance that almost put me out of business in 2010. While his towing company is trying to drop my price from 150 to 100, sir? and while his towing company was out charging 400 dollars to tow. And he's a liar. He said it. Oh, LAG's taking over. It's not like he'd be charging 200 dollars a tow. Maybe they would have an issue. Well, they charge us four hundred dollars. You're tough. being disruptive. Stealing cars. I'm not. Mr. I'm Robbins, frustrated. Mr. Robbins, one more time, you'll be asked. One more time, and you're out of here. <laughs> now, I'm asking for some answers, then I can do my presentation. This is this is communism. Sir. This is what this is. This isn't this, a body. This, this is your time. There's no. But I'm asking for answers. Look at the police you department. Those the police time officers time. back there have been turned into racketeers with this towing ripoff. He stated right in the citizen's voice that the towing wouldn't be costing It's not like he's going to charge $200, and they got caught charging $575. And I got multiple receipts to charge. They were charging four and five and six and seven hundred dollars a tow. And Vince still profited off it. He got ten thousand dollars in his campaign from it. Bill Barrett, I went to him and told him what was happening, and they put a towing ordinance that put me out of a almost out of business. While he's cracking down two hundred thousand dollars a year. Mr. Kelabasi. It is city business. City, it's not city business. Well, he asked him if he's getting $200,000 a year. I'm going to go back and forth. Excuse All right, what about answers about the thievery going on in the police department? You got the police captain who, if you, folks, if you have a complaint against the toller, Mr. 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 Kalabowski, address council, please. I am, but I'm trying to talk to the people, too. They could hear you when you're talking. All right, well, people, so you can hear me. You go, you have a complaint against life, you go to Captain Hughes. Captain Hughes was in business with LAG, getting cars on consignment, selling them on the car lot on Blackman Street. You're telling me that's not a conflict of interest? And you got Vince Gold lying over there to the commissioners telling them that the Overborough Bakery was going to be going for townhouses, and then you got the mayor admitting in the paper after all this time that they were never going to put townhouses? That's lying. You wonder why I talk about it. I'm frustrated. I'm in debt over this because I listen to your friend and relative, Bill Brace. Don't worry about nothing, Bob. City business, sir. But it's, it's a truth. It's part of my story. It's part of my story. He told me, don't worry about nothing. Look what they put me through. Look what I'm stuck with. And Tony, you were there when I took over. Bill, you were there when I took over to Tony. I'm talking to them guys because they were witnesses. What is this? Like? Why, don't you, why don't you just have those cops take me out of the parking lot and shoot me? That's coming. <laughs> I mean, look at that. You got two officers, armed officers back there, and you got the mayor standing there waiting so he can insult me or do something, <laughs> so I'll say something so he can arrest me. Please address All right. 
Members of council, but especially Mr. Barrett and Mr. George, you were there when I took over the towing in 96, and I refused to give a kickback to the city. It took off. And that's just what this is, a kickback. Pardon me? Well, praise the Lord. So look what it's turned into. And I'm asking the new members of council, are you just going to do something to help not only me, but the citizens? What are you going to do? You know what? You think I'm, you think I'm just making these things up? That police department over there, you wonder why there's no morale. It's disgusting. Look what they're doing to the people. They're robbing them. Robbing them. And that's when, they, when I got involved in this in 96, everything was in the file. They did the research. It's illegal. You're robbing the poor citizens. And nobody wants to do that. And you people have to help, help me and help the other people. A guy got his car towed a couple of weeks ago, mysteriously, from Cole Street. Oh, it was the wrong bill, $575. Mayor Wright has a private meeting with the guy, and they gave his car back for nothing. Isn't that something? And you got these poor people that just paid $650. Nobody's bending over to help them. And I'm telling the truth. And Mike, you haven't lifted one finger to do nothing. And yeah, I do talk a lot. I'm frustrated, along with everybody else in the city. It's not a council. You have five minutes. We need 10, 15 minutes to talk. And then you don't answer. So I'll stop now. Mr. Brown, Mr. George, and Mrs. LaBelle. I want to know what you're going to do as the new members of council. The mayor's a crook. The chief of police is Mr. involved Gallup, over there. Your five minutes is up. Well, praise the Lord. Thank you. All right. What are you just going to do? Sir, your five minutes is up. All right, but I'm asking for answers now. Your five minutes is up. All right, well, I'm asking you're Mr. Brown. Address, so you're not going to get addressed to individual members of council. All right, well, all right, everybody, what are you going to do? Oh, all right, you, you need to go back, back on the other side of the room. Well, look. Ask everybody for an answer. Mr. Kedlowski, your time is up. All right, but am I going to get an answer? Officer. Can you just escort him just back to the audience? Are you, he's what, are you going to do riding king to me or what? <laughs> Don't you touch me now. Thank you, officer. This is police intimidation. This is Russia. Mr. Mayor. This is Russia. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I feel compelled to make a statement. Uh, I'm not going to direct this to anybody. I don't expect anybody to say anything back. But I take great just pleasure in hearing somebody call our police officers racketeers and other names that were directed at the police department. Uh, there, if somebody has some belief that something is being done wrong, the avenues for recourse have been explained time and time again. But to come here every other week and call those people standing in the back and all the police officers from the chief on down racketeers is an insult to every one of them and an insult to every one of us. And I take great displeasure in listening to that. If anybody here who's any, has any information to the contrary to what I just said, then they should by all means take it someplace because we all deserve uh, a 100% police department, but a totally ethical police department, and I believe we have that. And until somebody shows me otherwise, to hear this type of conversation every other week, uh, it's just intolerable. Uh, I, I agree, Mr. President. Can I say something to answer back, please? No, back, no, 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 back, 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 no,